Hey everybody, this is Scott Gustafson from Vital MX. We're at Kawasaki Motor Corporation today. We've got our 2019 KX450 test bike with us. And we're here to show you a couple tech tips uh, that hopefully if you're a new Kawasaki owner, uh, hopefully these tips will make your life a little easier because they are unique to the KX450. Now new for this year, um, the Kawasaki has put electric start on their bike and to have electric start you have to have a battery. The battery on this bike is a lithium ion battery and there's a couple things to know about it. First of all you do want to use a lithium ion charger with it. Um, yes you can use your old lead acid battery tender to charge a lithium battery but you won't charge it correctly. They're different you can ask an engineer for the explanation but to do it right, you do need a lithium charger. Okay, now with your lithium charger, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is this. Um, when bikes get shipped from Japan, um, they'll, the batteries themselves, they won't receive a full charge and they'll do that for safety. That's also a reason why your linkage doesn't come with a lot of grease in it. Um, essentially, it's for safety, and for environmental reasons, you can't have oil dripping and you can't have an overcharged battery go from Japan to the United States in perhaps a, you know, a hot container or anything like that. So um, it's a really good idea once you get the bike uh, to charge your battery uh, to 100%. It'll make your battery last longer. Uh, normally the dealer will always do this for you, but sometimes you'll walk into the dealership five minutes before six o'clock and you'll want to take the bike right away and it won't get done. So for your own safety and for your own longevity of this battery, it's a good idea to charge it uh, before you start riding. Now, a couple things to check for with a lithium ion battery. Uh, the batteries themselves, they have more voltage than a normal lead acid battery. So when you're checking them, uh, you, you know, you'll see the charge, it'll say 12.8, 12.6, and you'll say to yourself, well, that's plenty. This just needs 12 volts. Well, these particular systems need more than 12.8 volts. So anytime you see that, you'll want to charge it. If you see it below 12.8 volts, you'll want to charge it a little more. Okay, to test your battery, it's a good idea to go out and purchase a voltmeter or multimeter. You don't need to have an expensive one. You can buy a $10 voltmeter at Harbor Freight or Sears, and you'll do just fine. Uh, so you're going to switch to uh, DC volts. Test your battery, put one lead to the positive terminal and one lead to the negative terminal. Another um, important tip to remember uh, when working on or around the battery is to remove the ground wire and disconnect the battery so that you don't have a live battery when you're working around it. If you touch the battery with a tool, you might arc it um, and cause damage to the battery. Finally, another nice feature of the Kawasaki battery is the fact that it does have uh, protection. So essentially what that means is if you were to overcharge the battery, uh, the battery will shut itself down until the voltage goes lower. Or if you get the battery really hot, uh, the battery will shut off until it gets to a safe operating temperature. Um, if you are starting in gear, if uh, you're starting multiple times, that will heat up the battery. So if your battery ever shuts down for an unknown reason, chances are you've gotten it too hot. Anyways, um, that's everything from Vital MX today. If uh, you like these tech videos, please let us know in the comments below. Also too, if you're a 2019 KX450 owner and you have a tech tip for us, we'd like to hear from you. Um, again, thank you again from Vital MX.